Welcome to another edition of What Am I Wearing Today and Why Am I Wearing It in the Gentleman Scholars Club. So on top I have a brown suit supply Havana jacket, uh, it's kind of a flannel, wool flannel, has a tweedy type of finish to it. As a shirt, also suit supply, grayish brown stripe, uh, Bengal stripe I guess you'd call it. As trousers I am wearing high-waisted Rose and Bourne uh, corduroys. These are large whale cords, so they have a wider, each, each row of cording is a bit wider, so it's kind of an off-white cream color. On my feet I have uh, matching socks in kind of a cream with ribbing, and I have brown tassel loafers also from Suit Supply. So primarily a Suit Supply outfit today. Why am I wearing it? Um, I haven't worn dress shirts for a while because it's been so cold. I've been wearing turtlenecks with tailoring, but today I'll be it in the house and I'm also going to be sitting into a three hour meeting, a virtual meeting working from home. So I don't want to be sweating since the house is centrally heated and it's going to get hot. So I, I wanted to wear just a regular shirt and jacket look. I try to play with striping as you may have gathered, I have vertical stripes in the Bengal stripe. I continue down through the cording. Uh, especially the large whale, kind of the same size of design. And then on my socks, as I said, I have uh, also ribbed socks. So those continue the line, uh, if anyone notices, it's kind of that verticality. Of course, sitting in an online meeting, you only see the top half of me. And so that'll be lost on the audience, or the attendees, but I will know uh, what, what stylistic games I'm playing. Uh, this, I'm not wearing a pocket square because of all the striping action. I didn't feel like it was necessary. I'm also in a business setting. Maybe pocket square will be over the top, uh, over the top already with the outfit in general, but especially in the business setting. Don't normally wear loafers, especially in winter. We have a lot of snow here; it's quite cold. Loafer to me is more of a spring, summer, and early winter or early autumn uh, item of footwear. Usually without socks or with no-show socks in the summer. So to wear loafers in the winter for me is unusual. But I am just walking around the house. I'm not going to be going outside, so I figure loafers are fine and kind of just to show off the socks as well and to continue the, the visual of the, the lines or the stripes so you could see the ribbing on the socks and loafers which you wouldn't see if I were wearing boots or if I were wearing monk straps or derby darbies or anything like that. Um, this jacket is a Havana from Suit Supply. I think it looks pretty good on the video there but I do find it not to be the most exciting cut. It's not, it's not a three roll two, it's only a two button. Suit Supply's clothes are cut to be worn more fitted as well, so I probably would wear a 38 according to their style uh, principles, but I size up to a 40 because I like a fuller cut similar to what you might find at the Armory or Ring Jacket. So I'm not sure it's the, the, it fits the best that way as a sized up jacket, but I think it's fine overall. And uh, Suit Supply jackets are also short in the sleeves, and this Suit Supply shirt is actually short at the cuff as well. So if I wore a Sport coat from some other brand, uh, the cuff would probably be long, too long and would cover the shirt sleeves because of the suit supply connection. So I'm kind of forced to wear a suit supply jacket, sport coat, with a suit supply shirt because of that smaller, uh, the, the shorter length of both the sleeves. Uh, collars, I prefer a larger collar in general on my shirts. Uh, I don't like the ones that are cut away and you can't really see them, They're kind of anemic in my view. I prefer to have more of a point collar, uh, Kent collar if you call it that, according to Suit Supplies, uh, what, what they offer in their custom shirting, it's called a Kent collar. I also like the one piece collar that kind of comes up here uh, and frames the face more, but uh, this is a really nice stripe. I like the tone of the grayish brown on that and it pairs well with this greenish grayish brown jacket. When you choose browns, you'll know that there, you'll notice that there are a lot of different tonalities or gradations of brown. You can get a reddish brown, you can get a greenish brown, a grayish brown, and you have to kind of match your other browns with that accordingly. And this is what I would call a greenish brown, so you want to match it with something similar. Gray and green kind of go together, grayish and greenish, but I wouldn't match it with a reddish brown, for instance. It wouldn't work well together. Uh, large cording or large well cords. And a high-waisted trouser, uh, kind of nice because you don't see this, what's called the dreaded shirt triangle, for those who are interested in style. When the jacket is kind of pulled back, you're not really supposed to see the triangle of shirt here. 
high-waisted trousers help to prevent that. So if the jacket is pulled away, you don't really see shirt, you see trouser. Um, large whale is unusual, usually you have a, a smaller cording, but uh, these which are offered by Bergenberg this year, a Norwegian company, Scandinavian company, uh, have the wider cording or larger cording, and I kind of like that. It, it's also a bit more casual because you do see the cordings, and it enables me to play with that uh, use of line throughout the outfit. So I hope that was interesting again in terms of showing you some ideas for winter styling and maybe styling for your Zoom meetings. Thanks for watching.